What's good? What's good? What's good? You feel? What's good, folks? Man, listen, it's been so long since I've recorded and uploaded. So listen, I'm gonna make this one a record and upload. So as you guys may have known, <clears throat> for anybody who has followed me on Instagram, my Instagram account is gonna be right here, one of them places. Um, I moved shop. Uh, a lot of life changes has happened recently. Um, and I have not vlogged and uploaded for probably, I wanna say probably like a year and change. Right, so I'm gonna get back into constantly uploading. I uh, got a new shop. I have some very cool cars I'm working on. Working on a Mazda RX-7 FD. I'm also working on a um, R33 Skyline GTST. And right now in the front, I have a E30 that I'm working on currently. And um, if you guys don't know, which I'm positive you guys don't, but I painted my uh, E36. Um, I've had this car for a very long time. If you guys don't know the backstory, uh, I got this car from a lecturer of mine that wore uh, when I was going to ODU. Just moved back home. Listen, I'm 30 and I'm back home uh, because of some significant life changes that occurred. Uh, so I'm just trying to find my passion again. You know what I'm saying? Getting back into um, vlogging. Uh, you know posting my work more often and stuff of that nature man so um you know when life hits you bro you just got to deal with the the positive that come with it so um, right now this is the daily driver you guys know i'm good for some busted dailies but this one here ain't too bad i always had this crazy love for the looks of overland vehicles so i'm supposed to be lifting this uh and then after lifting it putting some wheels on it uh, fixing the body damage and painting it black and put some cool wheels up there. Um, so right now, I just gave a um, a price breakdown for a Mazda 3, which I'm supposed to be painting. That is in North Carolina. Um, just giving the price, so we'll see what he says. I'm positive he's gonna go with it because my prices are good and the quality of my work is A1. So, boy, it is hot outside. My assistant, actually, right now is at work. Um, yesterday, while we were in the shop, uh, we kind of deciphered how we're gonna do this paint booth. I need about three additional feet um, of. Uh, material extending outward from the loft so I can enclose it and actually have a good space to work on the size vehicles that I work on you know what I mean we gonna we gonna make some moves to make sure that these quality jobs look good man because I do have some quality quality customers and I do want to provide consistently good work and that's not you ever smell something bro you ever smell something and you wonder like where the smell come from Bro, my armpit's smelling like hot gun. And I put deodorant on earlier today, bro. I took a shower and I put deodorant on. So I don't know what's going on, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? YouTube. YouTube. This is my man, Keith. My man does crazy raps. Mm. Honestly, like, the best in the area. Like, he gets, like, into the details of parts that people don't get into. The parts that don't lift. The parts that do lift, that people don't worry about. He gets into those. I'm about to go do some shit, bro. I got where to be. When you gonna sell me that uh, Honda for a thousand, man? Hey, for all y'all, listen, when I buy cars, bro, I don't buy nothing. Yo, my gold price for every car that I buy is like $500. I ain't even gonna lie to you. We is here, my boy. Yes, sir. In here is dark, but I'm gonna need some light. So right now, as I said to you guys, this is the project that I'm currently working on. Let me open this front door real quick. So the current projects are this here, E30 first. Um, I have an R33 that is on air. It is a right-hand drive car. The passenger side is leaking. And then I have this RX-7 FD. So I am going to be working on basically all three, bro, because I got a lot of stuff to do and I kind of lost focus, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna regain that focus right now and get back into what you feel what I'm talking about. The current plans for the shop, um, I'm gonna be turning under here into a paint booth. It is long enough, 
You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's kind of long enough. I ain't gonna say nothing nasty, bro, because I'm really trying to turn a new leaf. But that's what she said. I just needed to be out here an additional, like, three feet. Um, and close that area off. E30, looking pretty decent. Knocked some body work out yesterday and tape work. And then enclose the loft. So we already have the material for that, well, some of it. I'm gonna be figuring out how to enclose over here a little bit better. Um, obviously put a whole lot of lighting inside here. Let's go upside this loft. It is so humid up here, my gosh. Carbon fiber pieces, you already know how they go. And then, you know what I'm saying? Be able to have a full work area right here. You know what I mean? Small steps, bro. My first shop, I was actually embarrassed to show it. Um, which is kind of crazy because I was actually showing my backyard first. But you know when your ego, when your ego a little big, man, you don't, it's hard for you to be humble when your ego is, was, is, is risen up. So God had to humble me um, severely for me to get back to where I need to be, man. And just focus on the purpose, focus on the calling, and not be too focused on things. Y'all, don't be lazy with your dreams, bro. Don't be, don't be lazy with your dreams, bro. Like, seriously, like... Make moves and be intentional about the moves that you're making. So, um, I, I've had two really great <laughs> paying paint jobs coming up. Um, I just called the second paint job. It is a very, very, very high paying client. I'm super grateful for it. I can't even lie. Um, but I, I called, you know what I'm saying? I don't think the person even saved my number. You know what I'm saying? So I just call them just now just to kind of make sure, touch bases with them, let them know, hey, yo, we still good for, you know, what we got going on. He's like, yeah, let's meet up next week for a down payment. But don't show up for yourself and be intentional about your life, man, because you can literally let your dreams just roll by and nothing happens. <laughs> Insulation being dropped off to go up top. We're gonna insulate the whole upper sections um, We're literally gonna turn in here into a paint booth So we want to make sure that the environment is you know safe for the other people on the other side because we do I do have neighbors This is all the insulation we have really three stages of filtration before it's entering the booth all right Y'all that's how the shit see that that ain't no work. Well, it's a little bit of work sweat, but damn it's hot this is a straight sauna up here. And then the insulation being up here makes it no cooler either. Straight paint booth as I expressed earlier today. Um, and it should look, it should operate exactly how we expect it to operate. So if you have a clean room that you can keep sterile, um, then it's gonna limit imperfections, it's gonna limit finished work, limit a whole bunch of like time. All right, so we're abiding just by a time difference. Now I wanna get things out, uh, operating a little bit quicker. <laughs>